Well, it looks like we have an idea what uh, executives are going to go first. Video just dropped over at uh, Dizzle Emotion, and uh, information is interesting. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about and address a video I saw that got posted over on Dizzle in Motion. I, I linked it in the description down below. Um, so Dizzle in Motion posted a video that said that the Chrysler slash Ram CEO, because I know she also took over at uh, Ram, is on the chopping block. Now, it's interesting that that was said because literally I heard similar information. Um, this will be, I guess, morning for you guys, but it would have been last night that said the same thing. But I don't know if she's going to be gone from Ram, maybe just Chrysler. What I find interesting about this is I feel like this is all a shell game by Carlos Tavares to kind of cover his ass for his incompetence and the issues that he's caused for the company himself directly. Like, how can you, how can you say you're going to shake up the entire executive staff when you've already done this? This is going to be, what, the third time? I mean, you already forced other people out that weren't even going to leave. Jim Morrison left Jeep. Um, you know, Manly before that left and, and went to Auto Nation. And you had Tim Kaniskis uh, retire. And a car guy like that, that literally kind of pushed and, and marketed and, and put the Hellcat out there, the Demon and everything else, doesn't just decide, nah, I've had enough. I'm going to retire. Right? That's not how that works. Anyways, I highly uh, advise you guys to go check out the video uh, from Dizzle in Motion. He gets into the information and it's backed up by other information that was dropped uh, last night as well via Reuters. So it'll be interesting in the thumbnail. Oh, the thumbnail. Oh, the thumbnail. This thumbnail <laughs> from the video. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, I saw this and I was like, "What?" So I literally was like, "Yo, bro, what what is going on? Like, what are you what are you what are you hearing and what what did you get?" And then um, I saw it also over on Reddit and it was also on uh, Facebook. Literally, all within about an hour of each other um with the information so it'll be interesting to see i'm also hearing that they could end up getting rid of the jeep ceo which is interesting because it looks like he's super excited in that position and but i think the board now has some serious pressure from the largest or one of the largest dealer groups in the united states i'm gonna talk about that in a separate video but i think the chairman is like, all right, enough of this incompetence. We can't keep double speaking and saying random stuff in public. It's affecting the stock price. We're taking a beating. We're burning cash. We got to stop the bleeding. And I think that starts with putting people in charge that are actually car people. One, people that are going to be able to push these brands forward. Two, and... Uh, by making these changes and a couple of statements dropping, I think it's going to massively inflate the stock price. Three, those are the things I think Stellantis is most, most uh, concerned with right now. They know that these third quarter earnings are going to be a frigging disaster. And because they know that these earnings are done, because they know that these earnings are bad, they're trying to pump up the 
public, I guess, by making these moves. And I think it's one of the last moves of Carlos Tavares before he is also cut. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. If you want to get all the specific details, like I said, I linked Dizzle Emotions channel in the description down below for you to go see that video uh, when he dropped this last night. He was he was first to the press with it. So definitely go go uh, go subscribe to that channel and go check out the video. But anyways, until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys very soon on the next one.